All right. Hello, everybody. This is uh, Duncan Scarry, and um, we're going to be starting right now. The, um, due to the number of people that we have, every phone is going to be muted. So if you have a question, um, go down to the questions box and um, enter it there, and we'll do the best to answer it. So we're going to go over Google Analytics um, in its most basic form, and we'll go through some more intermediate and advanced topic too, but we'll... Um, We'll do them uh, kind of briefly just to give you an idea of what Google Analytics is uh, capable of doing. Um, before we start, we're going to um, we're going to talk about uh, what are web analytics. Uh, web analytics are is the process of track tracking your website traffic and your visitors' behavior, much like if you're in your dealership and you track the number of ups you have, what, what advertising sources they came from what percentage of them uh, were written up and what percentage of them became VBAC. So web analytics are, are the exact same thing and um, uh, what they do is um, basically tell us all the, the same statistics uh, about your website. The most important thing to understand about web analytics is that they're very broad stroke. Um, certain visitors are tracked, certain visitors aren't capable of being tracked. So the uh, information that you get uh, is very broad stroke. It's not meant to uh, boil down to a single uh, uh, a single user or a, a single uh, a single visit to your website. Some of the things that you can expect to um, find from your web analytics are the overall number of people coming to your site, um, the sources of um, the sources of traffic that are bringing visitors to your site. Uh, the time on site, the number of pages viewed, uh, the content visitors are viewing, um, and ultimately if users are reaching important areas, areas of your site or um, doing things that you want them to do on your site. Uh, we typically recommend and use a lot of Google Analytics and um, you know why you would use Google Analytics over um, another analytic program is first off it's incredibly powerful. Um, if you compare it to some of the top uh, analytic products on the market, um, it 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 lines up feature by feature uh, with virtually all of them. It's very flexible. You can install it on on virtually any site, and you can modify it to um, for it to perform just like you want it to. Most importantly, it's free. So if you look at a uh, an analytic product like Omniture, uh, which is pretty expensive, uh, Google Analytics does virtually everything Omniture does, and it's absolutely free. There's a strong support network for it, meaning that um, online there's a tremendous amount of online support for the software, uh, and there's also a network of people who have been trained and trained by Google and authorized by Google um, to help support the product. Finally, what I think is most important is every web analytic package reports a little bit differently, just like every general manager in every store reports their traffic a little bit differently. Um, Google Analytics will provide consistent statistics. So if you're monitoring four, five, six, seven sites, uh, you can do it with one analytic package, and the the way that it's measuring your traffic is is, is identical. So uh, to get into Google Analytics, you just go to google.com forward slash analytics, and that'll let you sign up, let you uh, create your codes and access your data and do everything right from there. M to start out, so everybody understands, is how Google Analytics work. Google Analytics works is um, what happens is um, your web provider will place a very small snippet of code on your site, and that's right here. Uh, it's completely unimportant that you understand this or not, but uh, this is what goes on every page of your site. Uh, when somebody goes to a particular page of that site, what this code does is it records. 30 plus pieces of information about them and then forwards that on to the Google Analytics servers. The Google Analytics servers process the information and put it in your analytics account. Um, the Google Analytics servers do this several times a day so it's most, so analytics are not real time. They're not up to date to the minute to the hour. Uh, basically they're, they're uh, comprehensive to the day. So it's a pretty simple process. You put the snippet of code on your site this snippet of code records a bunch of information about the user. It's non-personal information. What that means is it's not their email address, it's not their name, it's not their, their phone number or anything like that. It's all non-personal information, such as what type of browser they're doing, what the last page they visited was, whether, whether they've been on this site or not. The analytics server processes it, 
and sends it onto your uh, sends it onto your analytic account. Um, the first thing you can do is when you log into Google Analytics, you have a what's called they call their dashboard. And if you notice in Google Analytics, right up here in the top left, it's called your dashboard. I'm actually going to go into a live dashboard here and show you how it works. Um, give me one second; it'll pull up here. Here's a live um, here's a live uh, Google Analytics dashboard. Uh, what's important to understand about this dashboard? Um, is it displays all the pertinent information, but what's really powerful about it is that um, you can configure this pretty easily. For example, uh, over here is a box that says Traffic Sources Overview. Let's say you didn't want to see that. That wasn't important to you. There's a little box on it that you can click, and it removes it from your dashboard completely. Um, what you can do is um, then you can take other information and move it over to its place. So for example, let's say this goals information down here in the bottom left is important to me. I can drag that up to the top and uh, put it where I want to see it. So every piece of um, what's really important is you can configure Google Analytics this dashboard to look exactly like you want it to look and provide just the information that's most pertinent to you. Uh, you still be able to drill down here on the left hand side into all this information, but the dashboard will allow you to configure Google Analytics to show the information, uh, just the information that you want to see. Moving forward here, um, what Google Analytics is going to do is going to give you a lot of very basic information that's important. Um, the most basic information that you'll see most often is visits. Um, this is the total number of times that your store, I'm sorry, your website was visited. Um, one person that comes to your site twice counts as two visits. Uh, it's pretty logical that the next, um, the next uh, analytic uh, metric they give you is unique visitors. This is the total number of individual people visiting the site. So if uh, you had 100 visitors and they all visited the site twice, you'd have 200 visits and 100 unique visitors. Um, the next one that you'll look at a lot is page views. This is the total number of pages viewed by all of the visitors that came to your site. Um, typically, most people look at it as page views divided by visits down here. And this is the average number of pages each visitor um, looked at. This is important to see how engaged someone gets with your site, whether they come to your site and they see one page and leave, or they come to your site and look at 20 or 30 pages, which means they're much more engaged with your site. That metric will help understand whether when people get to your site, whether they're having a good visit. The next area up here is time on site. Time on site is um, important for uh, looking at how long someone stays on your site. Um, again, this is another uh, measurement to show how engaged somebody is with your site. So do they come and just check a couple pages and leave? Or do they come and stay a long time, look at a lot of cars, um, look at a lot of the products or services that you have to offer. Uh, bounce rate is the percentage of people who come to your site and leave after viewing just the first page. And this is important that um, this is an indication of someone getting to your site who really isn't interested in seeing your information. For example, we have a dealer that uh, in St. Petersburg, Florida that has the exact same name as a dealership in Charlotte, North Carolina. And they have a very high bounce rate because people type that name into the search engines, click on the link, and find out that they're in the wrong site, that they wanted to be in, at a dealership site uh, in North Carolina. So this is a good indication bounce rate of uh, how relative a source of traffic is. Uh, 